Hey everyone, welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to source for the latest in entertainment and celebrity news. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any exclusive content. Today, we're diving deep into the world of podcasting with none other than Joe Budden, a major influencer in the hip hop community. Is he just joking or are those podcast earnings as real as they get? Let's get right into it. Joe Budden, the NYC-born rapper turned podcast giant, has made waves with his candid and often controversial takes. But it's his recent reveal about earnings from his decade-long podcasting career that's got everyone talking. Joe claims to have made about $4 million, with a gross of $7 million over 10 years. Impressive, right? But here's where it gets interesting. From starting as a free platform to landing a little lick with Spotify, Joe's journey hasn't been without its ups and downs. After his departure from Spotify, he mentioned the building crumbled a bit, but his friends came to the rescue. With all these shifts, Joe humorously adjusted his figures on the spot, suggesting he might have earned between $3.5 million and $4.5 million. While Joe's upfront about these figures, the actual number could be much higher, considering the brand deals, sponsorships, and exclusive content rights that typically accompany such high-profile podcasts. And that's not all. Hey, yes. hey, hey, um, let me ask you something. All right, Bob, how much do you think you'd have made off this since you've started this podcast? That's how you get young that's how you get young that's how you get young niggas involved. I say shit. Wait, or podcasting? Yeah, hell yeah. Like off this? Yeah, like how much you'd have made since you all together in the whole ten years? Yes, nigga. Like, I'm this, gonna... I don't really want to know. About four mil. Yeah. I'm, God, yo. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about. All right, yo, it's no word. Nah. Yeah, I'm thinking about four mil. Because early on, we was doing it for free. We was doing it for free early on. Then we hit a little lick, Spotify. Then niggas left. The building crumbled a little bit. My friends came, saved the day. Probably about three and a half to four and a half million. Four and a half million? That's yeah, something like that. That's that. That's that. That's peace. <laughs> No, for real, dead ass. He ain't gonna tell you. I'm serious. Why do y'all think I'm lying? Because I, I Joe, cause child, you're lying. good night. Cause, cause, cause you're good lying. That's all. But why do you think I'm lying? Cause we can Cause see we... you lying. Yeah, get, get, talk to that. Uh, not net. That's some gross. Yeah, gross. Not gross. Net. Oh, gross. Oh, gross is seven. Gross. If you gross in it, then seven. <laughs> I made like seven million. Yeah. You're got lying. You're not, not a piece. No, and then after taxes, about like four, four and a half. That's where I'm at to the after. But, but listen, years of hard work, y'all could do it too. It's not unachievable. There you go. <laughs> like, this is not unimaginable. If you work hard, keep your head down to the finish line, man. Just focus, focus on the content, what you need to do. Four and a half mil. Joe encourages his audience saying, it's not unachievable. Focus on the content. This points not only to his success, but also to his role as a motivator for aspiring podcasters. So what can budding podcasters learn from Joe Budden? It's all about passion, perseverance, and yes, being a little controversial helps to keep the audience engaged. But let's not forget the business acumen needed to navigate deals and maintain creative control. Looking at the broader podcasting market, Joe's earnings reflect a successful but relatively modest slice of the industry where top podcasters can pull in significantly more. This begs the question, has Joe downplayed his success or is this a strategic understatement to keep things low key? Whether Joe Budden is joking or giving us the real deal, one thing is clear, his impact on the podcasting world is undeniable. What do you think about Joe's reveal? Could there be more behind those numbers? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis and exclusive insights right here on the Red Carpet Reup. Until next time, keep aiming for the stars and making your mark just like Joe did.